Hello, Facebook Live. Hi, YouTube. You guys, happy Saturday. It's Kristen LaDuke, owner of Porch Nook, a decorative paint business located in Urbana, Maryland. Still trying to get used to saying that since moving to Cal from California. Okay, um, I realized I was just wrapping up a project and I forgot that I promised that I would show you guys how I'm doing what I'm doing. And here's what I'm working on. I'm creating vintage uh, chandelier crystal pendants. These can be used in many different ways. I'm just gonna show you how I'm doing it. So stinking easy, very affordable, but they're also so versatile. You can, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to put on these caps, these little hooks here. Um, they can hang on the end of a chain. They can, um, of, of a necklace rather, you can make them into Christmas ornaments. You can hang them in your window, of course. Um, if, if you guys know me, and give me a thumbs up. <laughs> you guys are familiar with my taste and that is anything glittery and shiny i have to do it i have to buy it i have to be with it anyway i came across a lot of 140 of these vintage chandelier crystals i had no idea what i was going to do with them um <laughs> no idea but they were shiny and i had to have them so i bought the whole lot and i'm so glad i did is anyone out there sort of like a, a shoot then aim kind of person like when I love something and I get an emotional reaction from something, I just buy it and then I figure out what I'm gonna do later. Is anyone else like that? Let me know. Okay, so just to let me know that I'm actually live and you guys can see me. If you can give me a, throw me a, an emoji, that would be so great. I'd really appreciate it. Um, you know, my wow, the wow emoji is my personal favorite. Just let me know if you guys can see me, that would be so great. All right, I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this. I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this. Okay, so first of all, understand my context. I have zero jewelry making experience. The, um, <laughs> the extent of my experience is creating keychain lanyards in summer camp when I was like in third grade, or I put, you know, I would thread beads. That was it. So when I got these 140 chandelier crystals, they all look like this. I didn't know what the heck, how to work with them. I assumed I had to put on a, a jewelry thinking cap on. Um, you can see they got like a, oops, there you go, uh, a built-in screw. I tried to remove the screw, trying to think, well, I can't work with the screw, but actually I am gonna work with the screw. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. Um, I was going down the Pinterest rabbit hole, and what have I always told you guys? Tell, you know, reach out to me via comments. Hey, Charlotte, good to hear, from, good to see you, Charlotte. Thanks for reaching out. Thanks for um, putting something in comments. I always love seeing you guys pop up. Um, I almost went down <laughs> the black, dark rabbit hole of Pinterest, trying to figure out how to do this. And then I realized, you know what? I slapped on my mask, grabbed my, grabbed my keys, my car keys, took one of these with me to Michael's. And I realized I had to basically inundate myself with the product, look at it, touch it, feel it. But not only that, try to find someone, a customer basically, stalk a customer who is hanging out in the jewelry department and see if they have experience and then start asking them questions. <laughs> That's how I, that's the secret to my troubleshooting, guys. I just like to stalk people in the aisles of Michael's and see if anybody's done what I've been trying to do. Anyway, here are the tools that you need. I'm gonna take the camera down, guys. I'm gonna put you on a clip here and I'm gonna show you everything that's um, needed to make these ornaments here. I see you guys popping up. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you can hear me and see me okay. All right, take some Dramamine. I'm gonna move you from the clip onto another clip. So right between um, projects here, I'm, I'm right now I'm sealing a client's dresser set. Yes, Charlotte, I agree. Good research pays off, but you know what I mean about Pinterest? Sorry about the noise. In Pinterest, I just feel like I could research a project to death. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so here are the crystals that I'm working with. Again, they have the screw at the end. The only things that you need are I didn't even know what these were called until last week, guys. This is called bead landing. This is a wire, oops, sorry. This is a wire I'm going to use to wrap around the existing screw and then to create a hook from it. This is called a long cone bead cap. I had no idea. These actually come in many different sizes. I originally bought a kit at Michael's that had multiple sizes because I wanted to see what they look like. So here's the shorter one. But then I realized, ooh, if I can really play off the long, sleek look of the, the droplet shape of this crystal, I went ahead and went with a longer version of it. 
So it looks like this. All right, this is how you do it. So these came with some rubber washers. I just unscrew and remove these rubber washers and I keep them. You know, I don't know why I'm keeping them, but I realized maybe they'll help me in a future project. They're so small, it's easy to store. Okay, so now I have my existing screw exposed on my crystal. I take my bead landing wire and what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna show you how I wrap this wire around this screw and so that it becomes like a hook. Originally, I, was try I tried to take the end here and wrap it around the screw and I realized after many failures, which is always healthy, that I should actually be using the loop end. Make sure I got good focus. Take your needle nose, no, excuse me, needle nose pliers. Hey, Summer. Hey, Sally. And you stick your needle nose pliers into the loop and you just slightly open the loop like so. See how I'm opening that up? I'm sorry, I'm trying to work on my focus here. Just enough. So then I can just, it takes a little bit of playing. I'm eventually going to try to hook it onto this screw. I just got to open it up a little bit more. Just like so. So see, it's, it's snug. I want a snug fit. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And if we have any jewelry makers, by the way, I would love any and all advice you can throw my way because I'm just trying to figure this out myself, guys. Summer, I miss you too. You, you have a bunch of these crystals? Oh, okay, can I show you? I'm gonna show you something here in a second after I get through with this piece. Um, so what I do is that once it's hooked, I take my needle nose pliers, I pinch it, and I'm just gonna wrap the wire around the the uh the circumference here of the screw and what's nice is that the thread in the screw kind of allows the bead landing wire to just rest real snugly i'm sorry it's slipping from my needle nose here and i just do enough to make a full circle around so here you see i did one full circle of the bead landing wire now I'm just gonna pinch this side right here to the top of where I ended the wrap. And I'm just gonna push the wire up like this. Give me a thumbs up if this is making sense. Hey, Kathy, good to see you. All right, now I've got my wire on. Now I'm gonna take my long cone bead cap. I bought these in bulk on Etsy. I bought like 150 of these for only like $10. Such a good deal. They did come a little bit crunched, so what I do is I just stick it into my closed needle nose pliers just to open up those, see, so it's nice and open. Slip the wire through there, see how it's poking through? Give me a thumbs up if you can see that okay. Then you take the tip. Now you're gonna make a hook. You just pinch on the end and you just wrap it around your needle nose pliers and you're done. You're done. Thanks for the thumbs up. What do you guys think? Here's the funny thing. Not funny like ha ha funny, but I want to show you something. I have made, I'm going to be, once I'm done, I'm going to have 140 of these guys. Confession. Here's my confession. I was originally planning on selling them, maybe sets of five vintage chandelier crystals. Who wouldn't want those? But then once I see this enormous box full of my 140 chandelier crystals, which again, Brings me great joy to no end. <laughs> Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks, Charlotte. Um, I can't let them go. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself a second Christmas tree and I'm just gonna cover it with these chandelier crystals. What do you think? What do you think, Charlotte? You're wondering what I'm doing with them. That's my plan. I was gonna sell them, but I don't think I'm gonna sell them. I was also thinking about maybe making garland using these crystals. Um, just put tie some ribbon between each hook and maybe string them along, maybe hang them along down a door frame. That's an idea. I'm glad you think it's cool. Thanks, Charlotte. All right, guys, that's what I'm doing. I only have maybe 10 left and I realized, oi, I promised I will go online and show you guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Summer, so Summer, you said you have a bunch of these. You're telling me you have a bunch of chandelier crystals just laying around, just laying around. 
You know what? Do you guys want me just to do another one? I'll do another one. I'll just do another one. And you guys can let me know if you have any questions. Anyone from Maryland on this live? I would love to hear from you. This Carol, California girl is trying to get used to... Oops. This California girl is <laughs> trying to get used to not only the humidity, but obviously gravity here in Maryland. I'm sorry for, about dropping you. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. OMG. I got to get my clip back on. How embarrassing. This ain't HGTV, guys. This is real life. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to flip you again. Let's see if you're going to stay. Stay. Okay. Awesome. Let's make another one. What do you say? I'm going to move this a little bit. Oh, Kathy, you have a bunch of these and you didn't know what to do with them. Tell me, do they have existing screws on them? Like this, I tried to remove it originally and it just wasn't happening. So I realized, okay, embrace the screw, leave it in, make it happen. Oh, sorry about dropping you guys. Okay, funny thing. So I also put all my Facebook Live videos also on YouTube. You know, it's an existing video. Why not just download it? Anyway, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the existing rubber washers. Anyway, lately I've been getting comments on YouTube and folks are complaining about my videos. Here's why. <laughs> so they're telling me that, oh, you gotta edit your videos. Oh, you talk too much. You gotta stop talking so much and just show us the project. I'm like, you know what? And I answer back, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I love hanging out with my followers and chatting with them. And you know what? I'm gonna keep chatting with them. <laughs> um, also, this, this mama's very busy and the last thing I have time for is editing my videos for crime me's sake. I do everything in real time. Who's got time for editing? I think it's also really healthy to uh, do projects in real time and also allow yourself to fail. It's so important to fail in my opinion. Does anyone else out there um, agree with me? <laughs> So I have 140 of these particular crystals, and then I have a whole bunch more. Ooh, is anyone interested in seeing my great-grandmother's water watering can? I put a whole bunch of crystals at, hanging from the end of my great-grandmother's uh, watering can. And it looks like a rain of water, but it's really chandelier crystals. All right, see how I did that? And just to show you, see how you just wrap it and, and it hangs on just fine. Now I'm gonna put my long cone bead caps on here. Oops. So I may have mentioned to you guys before that when I received my big bulk order of these caps, it came kind of crunched. So I take my needle nose pliers and I just open it up a little bit. Make sense? You just slip it on. There you go. And now we're just gonna give me a thumbs up if you guys want to see my grandma's, my great grandma's wa um, watering can. There you go. There's the hook. Voila. And I'm really glad I went with the long version of these uh, cone bead caps. Again, I got a bulk order in Michael's, but you can get a kit of like, what is it? Like 12 caps in like three different sizes. And it's a worthwhile investment just to figure out proportionately what style you want to go with your crystal. All right, I'm going to do another one. In comments, let me know if you want to see my great grandma's uh, watering can. Again, I laid crystals all out with the spout. All right, here we go. So I take the bead landing. Here we go. Just going to make another one. Here we go. And I'm going to open up the existing loop that are on these bead landings. There is a point on one end and a loop on the other. I'm going to open it up a bit. I'm sorry if my hands are a little shaky. I took some Excedrin, guys, and I have been off of caffeine since March. You know, COVID began right when I stopped using caffeine. I'm like, ugh. But I've been able to hold on. Anyway, Excedrin has caffeine in it, and I'm not used to it, and my hands are a little bit shaky, so I'm really sorry. So now I just take my needle nose pliers, and I just wrap it around the thread of these existing screws that are built into these crystals here. You may hear a snapping sound. It's just my needle nose pliers slipping off the wire as I'm trying to get a grip on it. All right, so I wrapped it around, all the way around. 
So you can see it's wrapped around all the way to the beginning end where I started. I pinch right here where I've completed the full circle and I just bend it up like so. Don't worry about making it perfect, guys. There's no such thing. Just get started. All right. Voila. There. Take the end. So, Kathy, I'm reading your comment. You don't have screws in your crystals. Okay. I have a bunch that don't have screws either. So when you say, Kathy, that you have roundish crystals that came off the chandelier, are they like in a chain? Let me show you something. I want to show you something, Kathy. I'm going to show you my grandma's, my grandma's uh, watering can and what I did with those small round ones. See, there's my hook. There's my pendant. I'm trying not to call these ornaments. Granted, I am going to use them as Christmas ornaments, but trying to say pendants because there's so many things you can do with them. I actually hung one off of my neck, off of a short chain. Looks so pretty. Got lots of compliments and I thought it was really cool. Like, oh, chandelier crystal, jewelry, that's so cool. All right, I'm gonna show you what I did with my small round crystals. Yes, wired together. Okay, Kathy, ready for this? Here we go. This is what I did with mine that are wired together. What do you think? This is my great grandmother's galvanized steel watering can. I love just wringing my, <laughs> putting my hands through it. Anything shiny makes me so happy. What do you think? That's what I did. So I still have about these many left still. I have um, enough to do another watering can. I just don't have another watering can. Is that something you may do? So stinking cute. Makes me so happy inside. Oh, and so here is also, um, I am sealing my client's dresser set. Painted it with kiddie pool. Very happy, fun color. So happy that she chose it. I'm so honored that she chose me for the project. All right, that's it. That's what I'm working on. Do you guys just want me to just keep working on these pendants? I know you're very busy, very busy people, but I'll just keep working on them. I'm waiting for my latest coat of sealant to dry on the dresser. And so I figured, hey, let's work on some of these pendants. I'm almost done. All right, here we go. So I've already made two with you guys. No, three, four, how many did I do? I don't even know. Three, I already did three with you guys. Okay, let's make another one. Thank you, Kathy. I think they're beautiful too. Here we go. All right, got the rubber washer that exists on here. I'm gonna just remove those rubber washers. Put it away for a rainy day. Grab my two, okay, these are two inch bead landings. Two inch bead landing is simply a wire. And I'm going to wrap it around this screw, this existing screw that's on the crystal, but I have to open up the loop first. Here we go. Maybe a little bit more. So I open it up, maybe a little bit more. Don't want to open it up a little too, too much because I want it to fit snugly. I'm going to put it on the screw. Yeah, that's pretty good. See? Let me know where you guys are watching from. I'd love to hear from you guys. Just pinching on the wire to hold on to it. Get a firm grip. And I'm going to push the wire around the screw. Like a millimeter at a time. So it does a full circle. One wrap around. And you, again, you may hear some snapping sounds coming from my needle nose pliers. But it's only it's because my pliers are slipping off of the wire. Okay, there you go. One full rotation. Sorry about the focus, guys. Let's see if it can try and get focus. There you go. Then once you complete your full rotation, you just pinch it firmly and you just bend your wire up like so. 
Then I'm going to grab my long cone bead cap. Because they came a little crunched, I like to stick my needle nose pliers into it a little bit to open up the, the opening here. Slip it on top of the wire. See my wire sticking out here? Pinch the very end, and then I wrap it around the nose of the pliers. And there's my hook. I like to close that a little bit more. There we go. So again, you can just hang it like on a Christmas ornament hook, right? What do you think? Okay, I'd say I have about like 20 of these left. 20. So I actually have to put another coat of sealant on my client's dressers and then I'm going to wrap up my crystals. But again, I realized that I was almost done with my crystal project and I forgot that I promised that I was going to show you what I was doing and how I was doing it. All right, guys, this is Kristen LaDuke, owner of Porchnuck. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in my garage. And I will give you an update. I think what I'm going to do next after I'm done with my client's project, I have this white, white SM company antique sewing machine. And I tried to sell it as is, just as an antique sewing machine. It's actually one of the first electric models of these sewing table machines. And I really thought, you, know, you guys want to see it? Give me a thumbs up if you want to see it. I have it like right here. Anyway, I thought people would really think it was unique because A, it's not a singer. Everyone seems to be selling singers, old singer antique sewing stations. This is a white SM company excuse me, white S, white SM company sewing machine. I've never seen a white company sewing machine before. So I thought that was unique, but no one else seems to think it's as novel as I do. <laughs> you learn as you go. Not only that, again, it's one of the first electric machines, which means it doesn't have the bottom treadles. Any, does anyone else out there savvy when it comes to antique sewing machines and the sewing machine tables? It doesn't have a treadle, which is the foot pedal that you would press on because there's no electricity, right? Well, this one doesn't have a treadle and people seem to have an adverse reaction to well, where's the treadle that's not right if it's an antique sewing station it's got to have a treadle like no it's electric i even have the electric wiring if you're interested all right you guys seemed interested in seeing it here's the machine here you go there it is so i had originally had it listed as is right but it's not moving it's not going anywhere no one seems interested so what i'm going to do is that i have an idea of what i'm going to do i'm going to dismantle it a little bit I'm going to repaint the base, just simply a really shiny, shiny black. And then the white base, I'm gonna remove the, um, the sewing machine cover here. And I'm gonna remove the actual sewing machine. And then I'm gonna paint the base white, a really rustic, like dry brush, rustic white. And I think it'll have much more of a versatile look about it. Like, I would probably want that in my living room more so than this piece as is. I mean, you know, only makes sense. What do you guys think? That's what my plan is. All right, I'm going to go seal. I said I was going to go before, but, you know, like my YouTube complainers, yes, I like to talk a lot. I do. But it's me, guys. Just keep scrolling if you don't like it. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> and you guys keep me real. I mean, you guys just keep it real for me, and I really appreciate you. All right. Again, if you guys have any comments or uh, recommendations on how I can do these ornaments better, I want to hear from you because I'm only as good as what you have. I'm only as good as you guys let me be. Um, I'd sure appreciate it. You guys have a fantastic weekend. Take care, be safe, be well, and be creative. Do something fun for, your, for yourselves, okay? Bye.